Hey guys, I'm Johnny on occasion, and today we are carrying on our Miao Yin campaign. And what's quite novel for me is I haven't played this campaign in three weeks. Yeah, I did. I I got a bit carried away when I was batch recording this one um, before release, long before release, and so I haven't touched this campaign in a very long time. Uh, so that'll be fun. But there's been some changes, and everyone and their mum has told me about this, and I I know, I know, but because I batch recorded, I haven't been able to address it. Uh, but yeah, you can convert buildings. You can convert buildings. Um, you know, the yin and yang ones. You can convert them in the building browser, which is, uh, frankly, ridiculous. It's the stupidest bit of design I've ever seen. Um, and frankly, I don't think it was designed. I think it was tacked on last minute. I'm not sure this was even in the pre-release build, the ability to do this. I could be wrong, but I can't be bothered to go back and scroll, you know, just trawl through recordings or something trying to figure it out, uh, but it, it's a bit absurd because there's already mechanics for converting buildings in all of the demon factions. Actually, possibly not Nurgle, I'm not sure how that one works because I haven't played a lot of Nurgle, I can't remember. But all the main settlement buildings, you can, you can change. There's two different, you know, trees, right, just side by side, one for uh, sort of demon portals and one for Chaos Warrior Fortresses, and you can just swap between them. That exists in the UI, in the bit of the UI where people actually build things. Not hidden back here, where no one has ever built a building. No, no. No, like, you know, if, let's find let's find a building slot, shall we? Down here, right? This is where everyone builds everything forever. This is where people build stuff. No one ever goes, oh, what shall I build? I'll just look in the building browser. Look, even if you right-click here, it doesn't even show you the building browser. You have to actually click on a building to go to the building browser. Like, this is just cumbersome, and no one uses this. <laughs> just no one uses it. So, it's very weird. It's a very weird thing. Um, it's bizarre. It's super bizarre. But I, I get the feeling that they tacked it on, realising that actually being able to convert buildings would make the yin and yang system, like, a lot less of a chore, because it is a big chore. Um, and, and they just added it last minute without maybe doing the full, you know, thing. But I really, I really have no idea. It's really odd. It's just, it's poor design. And it's not poor design because it's necessarily the worst place to put it, although it is. It's poor design because it's not even consistent with the rest of the game when you have instances of, you know, being able to do just that. It's very peculiar. So I hope that, you know, hopefully it'll get fixed one day. We'll get a patch where they'll just, like, finish implementing, building, converting, and it, it'll just make sense. But until then, um, yeah, building browser it is, I guess. But anyway, Miao Yin is in hell. She just arrived, um, so we have no idea where we're going. Not a clue. But I guess we will figure that out as we go. We'll probably get attacked by this jerk, though. Immortal so Slate bad. Gaze. He says he doesn't think so, but I don't... I don't... I'm not sure this guy's trustworthy. The I'm not sure this guy's trustworthy. So, building upgrades available. That's... Yeah, there always will be. Oh, caravan dispatch, though. Uh, let's send uh, Jen and Juga somewhere, but a short trip. We'll go to Shattered Cove. It's a nice... It's a quick trip. We'll do that. He may get attacked and um, bad things will happen, but hopefully not. Cool. Alright, moving on. Trust. And yes, we did indeed get attacked. Uh, I mean, I can, I can handle that. Do I need to handle that? I'm not sure I even need to. We outrange everything and these guys do more damage than we know what to do with. But spells are going to hurt me, which would be a bit annoying. I don't like spells. Spells are a problem. Eh, it's a sort of result. We have plenty more of these to do. Um, let's... Should we reveal a teleport sigil? I mean, 2% isn't exactly huge replenishment, so let's reveal a sigil. It may never help us, but it may help us a lot. It's really hard to say. Uh, military alignment... Okay, this is all very... Oh, hi! Uh, yeah, oh, mm, yep, something's happening. So, Ropsman Clan want a military alliance, and I'm quite tempted... Um, because we're not going to be friends with Kislev after this. If Zarlene the Katarin comes anywhere near us, we're going to kill it a bit, so... We can't have her getting, you know, Urson back to wherever Urson lives. I need to question Urson. It's more important. So, there is indeed a rebellion in the Road to Damnation, which is kind of to be expected. I mean, look at this. I mean, obviously this was going to rebel. Um, I although... Oh, that's part of the Flaming Scribes. Oh, that's interesting. That's interesting. So that, that rebel army is just going to sit tight for a bit. 
Um, but hopefully we'll come back. You know, we'll land back here after doing the that last survival battle, and we can run to Hellcade Drove to wipe out uh, to wipe out our faction, basically. One thing that is going to be a bit of a problem, actually. I just realised we're going to have a long journey back here. We're going to have a long journey. Oh God, that's not even the last one. Jeez, I forgot how far behind I was on this campaign than the Zardina Catherine one. Um, this one went a lot slower because I've been just looking at uh, you know all the new mechanics in much more detail because this was the first campaign we started. So I definitely went into more detail with it. Definitely had a more slower, methodical approach. Also, there's more to talk about, I find. You know, Cathay's brand new. It's not just like, oh yeah, bears. It's, uh, ooh, dragons. <laughs> Which takes longer, apparently. So, alignment calibration. A single brass lever activates thousands of pulleys arranged in a dense lattice. Even the most brilliant of minds could not untangle and quickly drags the compass into shuddering arrangement. So, cooldown time is faster. And, uh, yes. And, hang on, what? Because it's under siege, there's actually a second rebellion view, which is interesting. Very interesting to see that. It's going to be busy. It's going to be very busy. Very busy indeed. So how are things going over here? Uh, she's still chilling. You've been a bit of a problem though, aren't you? And uh, you can continue on to the Vale of Titans. Nearly there. Nearly there. That's good news. Uh, Mist Gorge and... Oh, where's Yeti Peak? Oh, Yeti Peak's up here. Oh, I was thinking he'd taken it, but I guess not. I'm not going to do anything with it. I'll leave it as is. Let's uh, upgrade Mist Gorge, though. And I guess that, because I'm in harmony with that, and that's fine. And we'll build a garrison on it, too. And I think we're going to have to meet these guys in the field, you know. No, the gorges are going to be a problem. The gorges are going to be a genuine problem. They were when they attacked before, because we can't, we can't just shoot them. You know, the fact they stalk makes them really formidable. You know, I actually need to block them with something, and they can tear through any of this stuff pretty well. Um, so it's a problem, but screw it. Hey, buddy. Uh, we'll lose a unit of halberds if I were to resolve this. I will. I will. Just so we can get a move on. Okay, let's, um... Venerate. And then Garrison. So he's dead. Dunk and Dunk died. There were two people called Dunk in that army, which is impressive. And they're dead. Brilliant. Victory over the Ogres. This master of strategy and tactics has wiped the crude lumpen Ogres from the chessboard, if not forever, then temporarily at least. Critical success. Nice. Nice. Alright, now what should we get for you guys? Uh, immortality. Sounds good. Uh, Miao Yin also had a level up. She's not even max leveled yet. How did you manage to not be max level? Now, good luck. Good luck trying to figure out what it was I was going to get. I have no idea. Uh, I mean, melee attack's probably high enough, right? Nah, let's get over 100. Brilliant. And then the final two levels, maybe I'll do speed. Yeah. I'm sure I'm missing something, like, real vital. Like, uh, stone gaze, maybe? Stone gaze, so I can upgrade my terracotta sentinels. I was probably going to go with nothing but that at the end, right? The probably. But I feel like they're pretty good anyway. 600 strong. weapon strength is a, is plenty. Genuinely, that's plenty for me. Alright, let's have a look at you. Uh, you're already immortal, which is, you know, which is handy. Uh, sure aim. Brilliant. Oh, you got another level up. Ooh, in that case. Uh, stone ground stance, puts up mass and leadership. Eh. I guess that that feels appropriate while trying to hold our own against, uh, you know, such such dangerous foes as we are. Uh, what else might be nice? Probably just need more halberds, honestly. Global recruitment's busy. Uh, it would be really nice to get some Celestial Dragon uh, Guard in this army. Because honestly, like, if I got a few of these, I don't see any ogres causing us problems. Except maybe lead belches, that would be a problem. Loyalty, that would definitely be a problem. I do have a cannon, harmony. though. Do you have a cannon? Could I get another cannon? No. Apparently not. Alright, let's get another unit of Jade Warriors. With halberds, just try and replace Dragon the one that we had before. We can always swap some things out later. It's all good. Okay. Uh, caravan is on his way. Hang on. Corruption that bad. Yeah, corruption's real high over here. Offspring of dragons. Oh, we've got a couple Dragon of armies here. I kind of forgot about all that. Yeah, it's very busy. The Iron very busy around here. Anyway, compass. 
So that's your like again, get more growth maybe? Yeah. There we go. Extra income from all buildings. That's nice. We're making good money. Okay. Yao Yin. Where are we going to take you? So we have that glyph, but uh, that doesn't help us. I don't know where we got that glyph from. Did we get attacked on the way in or something? Maybe. So, uh, all I know is that that glyph doesn't take us here, but I mean, we don't really have much to go on. We really don't. Well, I guess I'll stay in this stance, and you can teleport down here, and I guess we'll go for that one. Or I could go to one of these little nodes so we can get some more information. That's never a bad idea. Well, I'm sure it is a bad idea sometimes, but not right now, because I've decided that it isn't. Let's go spread control. Let's try and tame this land. <laughs> Brilliant. Garrison Lord not moved. That is a trend. Yeah. That's, um... Yeah, we're not going to build anything there, just in case. This guy decides to take it, and he probably will. Although, maybe not. You know, on the other hand. Perhaps not. Right, you go to the Tower of Asher, and then we'll head down that way with you. Because if I can just hold Yeti Peak with one character, I'll stop everything from coming in this way. While we push this way. Maybe we push this way? I think it would be nice to get to the Great Hall of Greasers and take that over. Just as a... just as a... I don't know, I feel like that's the best way to overthrow a tyrant, right? You know, the tyrant is the guy who ate the last one. We're in, you know, well actually she isn't a dragon, dragon but I can I can have uh, Greasers' carcass sent off to be eaten by a dragon, then technically we're the tyrant. And that means we're in charge. So let's get uh, Searing Doom. Do we need that? Assassinate Specialist. Yeah, uh, boost income. Why not? That'll do. Cool. Building upgrades available. I know. Outpost available. This I wasn't I wasn't aware of. Looks like Ropsman Clan has something going on. They still have Prague. We'll be able to recruit Warbear Riders. We can get Demigriff Knights and Warbear Riders and even an Elemental Bear. This is sort of ridiculous. I mean, seriously, this is obscene, and I love it. I'm glad I, I'm glad I agreed to ally with this guy. That's really awesome. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it so much. So good. We're gonna import bears, right? So we got uh, outpost being constructed, imminent rebellion in the same place we had a rebellion last turn, which is unique. And of course they attacked us again. Uh, we can auto resolve this without casualties, uh, so I will. The Emperor loves you. And that extra one percent is that worthwhile? Probably not. Let's reveal a little teleport sigil. Be... And oh yeah, and the vizier has attacked. Although this this settlement actually has a half decent garrison, like a surprisingly good one. Uh, and we can get some ancestral warriors as well. Though I wonder. Can we defeat all these exalted flamers? I feel like they're just going to shoot at us a couple times and murder everyone. Um, they do mad damage. But, focusing them down with a bunch of crossbows may take them down pretty quickly. They've only got 90 range, so if I focus them down... Ugh, I just don't see a front line holding against all the Forsaken. So it's one of those things, I think we could win, but it will take hours, and I don't care what happens to this settlement. Um, the Emperor's boundless love. <laughs> and there's the rebel armies that could be attacking here as well. Caravan encounter, the Toll. Grout Halfling Chewer, huh? A fairly well-sized army there. Uh, up ahead, strewed across the road, is a crude barrier. Bandits stand upon the blockade in defiance, demanding cargo from your caravan as a Toll to continue. Refuse and they will attack. Um... Oh, I mean, I could, I could do this. It, the worry is the Mornfang cavalry, because this is a bit of a hodgepodge. I think I'm actually going to pay up. No, oh, moving on. That's all. Oh, warrior bane, huh? Nice. Compton protector. Enemy's been killed in battle, and uh, we had a settlement sacked and then lost. Uh, mission issued. Kill gut flag. The Red Tyrant. Very, very cool. Um, uh, uh, what do you call it? 
name, but you know, better. It's not a nom de plume, is it? Alias, that's not quite right. Honorific. Honorific is the word I'm looking for. It's a good honorific. Uh, I could chase them down. Got how many turns before you replenish? Six. Jeez. Terrific. And that's with the replenishment bonuses. Ugh. Awful. Uh, let's get some... Oh, we shouldn't get some money. Although I can't actually build a wall there. Alright, let's get some money. Celestial and you can run down this way. Uh, I think I might attack, but I also kind of don't want to rush it. Because if I do attack and they retreat, they might be range of Yeti Peak and just attack that instead. Which would be kind of annoying. Though I don't see them being able to reach it this turn. I think it'll only be if they run away. Although if they run away, we might be able to catch them. It's really hard to say. Yeah, I'm really not sure. I'm the one in charge yeah, not sure one way or the other there. I, I think I'll, I'll just leave it. We're in no rush. Uh, Chow Min is keeping these guys busy. Uh, <laughs> Mount Thug. Great name. Uh, right. Let's get Meow Yu moving. Also, she has another level up. Of course she does. Let's get you... I mean, Storm of Shadows, I could level up. Oh, it's now a larger area of effect debuff. I mean, that sounds nice. Earth Blood, I could level up. I could level up a bit of both. It doesn't have that much armor. But then anything very powerful has a lot of armor piercing, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, let's go dra Let's go Draconic Speed. My celestial father. Her being faster just sounds great. Uh, I'm not going to go there. I'm going to jump into this teleporter and hope for the best. Boop. Hello there. So, couple, couple of armies in range of us, probably going to attack. Uh, and once again, I'm only seeing one place to teleport to, so that makes things a little bit easier. Right, Gmo. You can take over the Veil of Titans. Brilliant. Right, let's take that over. Good. I mean, there's a bunch of other nonsense here, but it does look like the demons are doing us a favor by just ruining everything in this area. That's good news. And now, let's see, income from trade faction-wide, that does feel very appropriate for where we are. Extra melee defense for local army sounds quite useful. And slowing enemies down is nice too. Your research rate. How is our research rate looking? 170%? Still only, still three turns. It would be nice to get it down to two turns, I must say. That would be nice. Oh my word, are we actually doing Dragon Emperor's Blessing right now? Upkeep minus 5% for everybody. And then we have to start ruining Yin and Yang. Because there are no more neutral technologies. Oh, that's gonna be... It's gonna be a lot of hassle, Master isn't it? Really will. Alright, you're fine. Alchemist. Uh, Beifang Mang. Let's get you Evasion. Outpost upgrade in Kadok Vlag. Sounds good to me. Uh, although, can you recruit anything here? I don't know. I, that's not something I've noticed. Hang on. Unless we just finished building that, in which case, yeah, fair enough. Power in um, the blood. Well, you can't build anything. You. Descended you can from train somebody. Glory. Wow. Get some Noblas. Shame we couldn't get something better out of them. I mean, brilliant choice here. I mean, great cannons and Hellstorm rocket batteries. Outriders with grenade launchers. The Demigriffs, so good. Reichland, I love that they survived in this campaign. Get some Slayers from Kerik oh, Iron, Iron Drakes. No flame cannon, sadly. Flame cannons are real fun. They, they'd go really well with our armies. You know, because we have our own versions of flame cannons, so it just means a lot of different uh, firing arcs of flames coming in. It'd be great fun. But still, some great stuff here. The fact we can get some more of an air force. I mean, getting a bunch of brimstone guns and a bunch of um, uh, uh, sky junks and sky lanterns. Just get a whole air force. I think it'd be so fun. Of course, we could only get the four units of, of gyrocopters, but that's a hell of an escort, you know? Fight off the enemy air force. <laughs> it'd be very cool. Very cool indeed. It'd be like having fighters and bombers. Like fighter and bomber contingents. It'd be really cool. Shugan be really cool Lord indeed. Reporting. But uh, I'm not going to get any yet. Of the eight winds. Not going to get any yet. I think we'll probably put them in this army. Wind because Shaper. we can. In fact, we've got the great Longmar Rides, our fighters, don't we? we got our fighters and I, and I don't know what else. Balloons and helicopters. It, you know, it's all good. The all-seeing eye. 
pin forks. Team Vicrux. Sure you are. Uh, let's... Again, we'll just sort of resolve. That's fine. And, um... I feel like I need to start venerating. It's, it's minor, but the damage we're taking is also very minor. So that 1% is actually covering us quite well. So we'll resolve that as well. And once again, I'll replenish. And Ratgash has attacked our caravan, which is bad. Because that's not a very good caravan. And that's quite a good army. I mean, it's not, but it's bigger than mine, and that's really all that matters in this kind of engagement. Uh, ugh, he's ranked 14 as well, way more experience. And the experience that we have, do have some battle skills, but that's not going to benefit everybody. Only the armor of the Jade Warriors with Halberds may do the job. And actually, Streltsy are fairly well armored too. And if they get some good damage to this guy, he is on a war bore. You know, so I should be able to focus him down. Uh, we're probably going to lose the caravan. I kind of knew that would be the case anyway. It's why we've been relying on our, on our decent caravan and just sort of waiting between um, journeys. But yeah, we'll give it a go. Alright, so here we are. <laughs> Everything's fine. Oh dear. Although, the map's fine. Look at this. Oh, just look at that. What a vista. What a vista. In fact, let's make it better. There we go. It's a movie now. Very cool. Big fan. So, uh, yeah, I think we're going to hide against the wall. Although, then I'll be able to run into the trees and I won't be able to shoot them. Alright, fine. We'll hide not against the wall. And we'll get completely surrounded and then I'll cry. You'd like that, wouldn't you? Yeah, you would. Alright, you guys are going to have to go on the edges. Although, are you? Now I'm thinking I actually want them in the front so we can shoot at the... Uh, oh, these guys in the front so they can shoot at the... The boar. Um, also, you guys... Yeah, you guys are spread out, so that's good-ish. Maybe. Hard to say. And do some squigs. Squigs are very useful here, because they, of course, have uh, anti-infantry. And just wonderful mushroom pads. Alright, off they go. Not as bright red as they used to be. Is just me? I feel they're more flesh coloured now, which kind of makes them a bit more disgusting. Bunch of orcs coming in. Looking great. A lot of orcs coming in. Many, many orcs. Oof. Don't worry, we'll have them. We'll have them, guys. Don't you worry. I know you guys were worried. But don't worry. Uh, we do also have our ancestral uh, chaps. Comrades of the bear. Warriors. I forgot the word warriors, I went with chaps. <laughs> I feel like that says a lot about me. Uh, yeah, so he's having a bad day, just immediately. Yeah, just immediately having a terrible day. Why, why is he doing this? Wind and fire. It's very strange, very strange behavior. And, okay, these guys are going straight for the halberds? Alright. That's how you want to do this. Yeah, they're having a good time. And yeah, they're running to the Jade Warriors. They're running into our best units. It's just nice of them. And yeah, this obviously isn't going to go well. But that's fine. They're there just to bog things down. You know, be a problem. So he's nearly down. Can you guys shoot? He can't shoot. That's a shame. Just definitely a shame. Alright, you guys. I mean, I don't know, actually. Or biggins are something we definitely want to want to handle. They have the heart like the largest um, weapon strength. Drelzy. We'll push out this way, can hopefully get some damage into stuff on the side over there. Uh don't quite know what you're gonna do either. But maybe, maybe, Take the ground. I'll put you somewhere and you'll be a massive nuisance and we can all have a good laugh about it. For the yeah, you pull back a bit. And, alright, Squigs are coming back in. Try and shoot them if you can. If you've got time. Hopefully these hand gunners can just shoot through here. I do wonder. It's a long shot. It's a long shot. Come on, guys. Fire! Nice. 
Right, get a volley in. Come on. Get a good volley. It's a good volley. Good volley indeed. Yeah, you guys can get some good damage in. But, oof. Yeah, problems over here, that's for sure. Or boys or piggins, they're the ones we need to target. But yeah, you're doing fine, aren't you? You're doing fine there. Maybe you should wade in. Might not work out well for you, but... If we can't break these guys on the flanks, then you're dead anyway. Yeah, this is looking iffy. But this is good. It's a good damage with the Strelzy. Okay, one more volley I'm going to move forward a bit. I said a volley. Why are you all just shooting one at a time? More like it. Uh, oh, you guys need to handle that. Because our hand gunners are having a bad day. Bad day. Oh, he has a good damage in there. It's great hearing all the um, sort of Sigma right folk shouting. You know, Sigma preserve us, obviously. That's not something the Cathayans are going to be shouting. Jeez. Yeah, it's a real shame we didn't get these big ones quicker. Because they will, they will cut through us. They will cut through us. He'll cut through us too. Crossbowmen, order and balance. Let's see. Those are dog boys. Those are all big ones. Now! Let's try and hit them. I'm amazed these peasant long spearmen have held out this long. It really is impressive. Yeah, I think you just run into those Org boys, actually. I don't think we need any clever flanking maneuver here. I think we just need to charge in on one edge. They don't have the numbers for a good rear charge. This feels like such a good uh, fight against Orcs, because this really is just Orc strategy. Run straight into the middle, smash things. And if you're the toughest, then you'll win. God, you guys are real slow, aren't you? Although, that was pretty quick. Ready, General. Yeah, pretty quick on the ready. draw. I'll give him that. We obey. Okay, you can start shooting those orc boys. And you shoot whoever, honestly. Whoever you like. Shoot whatever you like. Looks like we're going to win. That's good news. I really didn't expect our front line to hold this, this long. I mean, they've been absolutely devastated. I wouldn't be surprised if we lost a unit or two from that. But, but yeah, no, we went, we went. We did good. I, I'm, I'm quite surprised. I'm quite surprised our front line held there. But we definitely did a good job. I, I am very worried we're going to lose these halberds, though. Possibly these ones too. That would be bad. Heroic victory. It was hella heroic. You're right. It was. Thank you, game. Jobs are good. Got a brass cleaver. Everybody survived. Uh, Venerate will give us 13% replenishment, which I think is vital at this point. I think I think the caravan's dead if we don't. And uh, John Duanmu has been attacked. Underway interception. Oh, good. That's brilliant. We can take him out without having to leave. Um, a bit annoying that they've got the goblin rock lovers. Everything else would just die at range otherwise. But, I mean, I can just auto resolve. That works too. And venerate. Another caravan encounter. Oh, we get a noble in the army. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, so while resting at an inn, the caravan master is approached by a stranger claiming to be the fame. Uh, there, claiming to be a famed adventurer who wishes to join the caravan's retinue. He will fight and protect, but his services come at a price. Uh, let's see what we can do. Yeah, another hired sword will bolster the caravan's protection, and if they're as good as they claim, should be worth the price. I mean, every little helps, right? I'd say so. Killed a lot of folks. Uh, Earthing Rod, got a Razor Standard, a Sword Master, very handy. Um, Jam Shield, lovely. And the Our Ally has begun building uh, in the Vale of Titans, really. This is where the outpost is going. Well, fair enough. Fair enough. I mean, this is... I, mean, I guess this is a little bit far south, but um, in the Mountains of Morn, I guess, would be our first point of contact for, for them sending... Hang on, where are they? Over here. Yeah, that's the... Uh, World's Edge Mountains. Clearly. Clearly not the edge of the world, though. Misnamed. 
the misnomer, that one. So the brass cleaver is said to be the artifact from another realm, ancient and terrible at thirst for blood. Aged sage. Uh, listen closely, little brother. For well, here is wisdom plain. Your silk weaver. Absolute insanity. Well, stop it. Stop being insane. So less magic is a real pity. Campaign line of sight. I, just whatever. I don't really care much about that. Um, that's only going to get worse. So we will have to hurry. Raid the following region. Oh, Karak Vrag. I mean, that's... Just, honestly, that's never going to happen, I don't think. Yeah, I don't think we're ever going there. That's fine. You do you, game. You do you. Now, let's do an assassination. Can we yet? Yes, we can. 69%. It's destiny. Failed. Well... Destiny can fail. Uh, right, let's get you... Something. Earth thing. She might overcast something one day. You never know. And, uh, Chiyu Yue Jir. Let's get you... Boosting my economy. Perfect. I'm glad we could agree. Um, there's so many things I want to get now. Like, I can't wait until we get, um... God, I mean, thunderers and all sorts. Like, there's such cool stuff we can get. I think we're going to try and get some bear riders in an army at some point. Though it is going to take a while, actually. Robsman clan, we don't have a huge amount of allegiance. So it will take some time. The dragon That's the blooded. big... The big thing. Shogun gun the Lord big thing reporting. here. Fly the Emperor's flag. Quite good. So. Alec Kadrin. We only have 27. Which, actually, all this stuff is quite cheap. Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. They had access to gyrocopters a second ago. Where'd they go? Where did they go? What did you do? Buddy, what did you do? You still got that, right? No. No, they don't. What happened? Did they get sacked? Did the settlement get sacked? Oh my god, if that got sacked. That's very disappointing, if that's the case. Oh well. I'm glad they're doing better in the in the north, though. I really did think they were getting absolutely screwed by Zulfbar, but no, they're doing okay. Hang on, I'm getting my campaigns in a twist, aren't I? Yes, I am. These guys are actually allied like they're supposed to be. No worries. Yeah, the forces of order seem to be making a lot more sense in this campaign than in my um, Tsarina Catherine campaign. That's for sure. Just in the Tsarina Catherine campaign, every, every like, order faction is just at war with each other. <laughs> just no one's paying attention to any of the sort of end of the world stuff going on. It's quite ridiculous. Oh well. So, Miao Yin, let's get you into the next portal. Uh, I guess we're just going to have to run there. That's fine. You know, it'll do. In you go. Boop. Excellent. Right, let's level you up. Uh, storm scale might be nice. Uh, what am I saying? We're going to go Draconic Speed, aren't I? We're, for our final, for our the final skill point. Uh, Yu Tang Nan Man, let's get you, um, oh, I don't know, a better specialist. You can specialize in things now, I guess. Cool. Ready to defend. And now we have a choice of two, which is a problem. Choice of two directions to go in. Um... Uh, I don't know. It's, I, I'd say it's 50-50 as to whether we can get in here. I guess one of them would lead down here somewhere. Right? So what's interesting, if we jump in one of these... Uh, that, ooh, actually, no, we haven't been up here yet either. Ugh. Yeah, I don't know then. I think when we defeat these two, we're going to have to go for more um, sigils. And just see if we can uncover enough to piece together where to go. Because this junction is going to be... Pretty awkward. Gonna be tough. Uh, I'm not gonna ask you to leave. No, you guys can stay. Do you wish to join me in analyzing some war up? Uh, no, I just kind of want you to be my friends. I know. Child of the night. Please be my friend. Very sad. Cathay doesn't have a lot of friends. Although this version of Cathay has a lot of friends. We've actually been doing pretty well on the alliances front. Uh, load of trade partners. 
few alliances, you know, a lot of alliances, honestly. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with how we're doing, diplomatically. Celestial Alright, unassigned skill points. Uh, Dragon's Breath. I was born to wield it. And what, what have you got? Oh, it's uh, Jen and Juga. Oh, I can go with Shore Aim. No wonder they got all the kills. Uh, unyielding. If I put three points into that, our front line should be able to hold off the enemy quite well, no? I'd say so. Though so only... Only the ones belonging to, to us, so it'd only be the, uh, the peasant long spearmen and the jade warriors. But that is quite a lot of our front line, really. I wish we weren't suffering this, this uh, attrition, though. I could have put skill points into that, but, but I didn't. Here we are again. Go to my house. And uh, let's venerate. Nope, we're going to reveal teleport sigils. Dunroman. An elderly but uncommonly shrewd ogre man eater requests an audience. The bloated mercenary has traveled far and wide and learned the strategies of many a great army in the process. His wandering days are gone, and so instead he will share his knowledge with the highest bidder. Uh. I mean, recruit rank for all armies? Yeah, keep on retainer, screw it. Uh, though his manner is abhorrent, we have much to learn from this well-travelled thug. His permanent services will be costly to secure, but every one of our warriors will greatly benefit. Ice Court rules supreme. Oh, well, good for them. Good for good for Catherine. Uh, the spiritual conflict is over, and the devotion of Kislev's folk is unquestionable. The Ice Court rules supreme. The Great Orthodoxy has lost its influence and power, and will become just another instrument of the Tsar leader's burgeoning reign. And yes, confederation always happens when that happens. I uh, got a sentinel technician as well, got a charm shield, and we killed an enemy. Now, let's go back to... Wow, that's very odd that we can see all of the other factions we're at war with there. That's very odd. But anyway, uh, let's ignore that. So, we got a little zigzag thing there, which isn't what that is. But it doesn't mean that this doesn't connect to that. So, I don't know, let's go to this one because I guess an unknown is better than something we know is... We don't know if that's the right answer or not, actually. We have no idea. We actually have no idea either way, do we? No. Let's attack this guy, then. The Hello, Pinforks. Huh, guess what? I get we to interrogate you. Bye. Alright, what have we got? Uh, that... Yep, thanks. Okay, wait, hang on. I feel like the camera got squiffied. There we go, that's better. Uh, right, Lichbone Pendant, killed another enemy. So, what did we uncover? Like, actually, we got this one, right? Which connects to there. Great. Cool. Is that where we started? I think so. So that's where we started links to here. Um... Again, doesn't really help us between these two picks. Yeah, not a clue. Not a clue. Urgency is our watchword. I can reach this one, Footsteps so I'm gonna go for this one. That simple. I could have gone for there instead, mind you. <gasps> we nailed it. We nailed it, guys. We're the greatest. Pride is not We're the greatest undeserved. people. Okay, so now let's take a look at something. Specialist? Specialist. Good. Alright. Let's go back home. So, I don't know what they're still doing. Dragon -blooded <laughs> I actually have no idea. Uh, so we got all of this very well protected. I should probably push down here and start getting some more combat going, but replenishment is just so bad. Just really not very good. So let's see if we can't assassinate this guy again. They will suffer elemental wrath. And die. Failure again. Come on. Come on. Why are you being like that? There we go. Be better now. Good. Uh, you run Shanfu. And chill. Yong Swen can chill. Uh, Chiu Yo is see. Uh, can stay there. Zhen and Juga can stay there. Miao Yin is happy in hell. Brilliant. Outpost available. Let's upgrade that. And uh, that does mean 
that we can have a look at what we can recruit. If I can find my army somewhere. Here we go. This one. Dragon -blooded have a look. Cropsman clan. Oh, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Isn't that beautiful? We need 22 for the units of warbear riders. And what's our income at the moment? It's not telling me. You'd think it would tell you how much allegiance you were getting each turn on, on that, but no, it doesn't. Uh, let's have a look here, then. Robsman clan. Robsman clan. Never yield. More coordination. Passive income is three. Okay, cool. That's not so bad. So, a few turns. It'll take a little while, especially if we want to get four units in a single army, which Master I definitely want to do. Lengthen. But, uh, until then. All right, let's have a look. Uh, yeah, I think we're done. Moving on. Alright, by harnessing the magic of Azir, uh, Zen Yang may divine what is to come, and thus he shall know the hour of our need. When he tells his faithful that hour has not yet come, they shall believe him. Yes, and this is is describing someone who uh, denies the fact that they they're a god and don't want any reference or any of that silly nonsense. The fact that he and him, you know, his, you know, even the just the pronouns describing him are capitalized, much like how you would talk about God. Uh, yeah, it's 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 such a con. It really is. But yeah, upkeep minus five percent. Fantastic. And the caravan did in time. It did actually make it, which is really good. I'm very surprised. I'm very surprised. I thought they were going to die, yeah. and I sent them anyway because that's rest, just it's just what I'm like. Uh, so how many turns are you going to take? To replenish four. I'll, I'll wait one. I'm gonna wait one turn and then attack. Okay, that one unit is gonna have some trouble, but that's fine because that is gonna be a battle uh, that I think we auto resolve, right? We did the other two. Yes, we did. So uh, remember, guys, we are doing. Uh, I'm splitting up the survival battles between this campaign and the Zardida Catalan campaign. So if you want to see the other ones, and you're not already watching that campaign, then go watch that campaign. So I'll be auto resolving these two. We'll be doing the final battle in both, though. Um, because, you know, final battle in it. Also, Shaper I don't think you could skip it. <laughs> so we'll be doing it because we literally have to. So uh, let's have a look here, then. Uh, Yarn kill. Oh my god, we've got we've to gotta throw things off now. Oh. I wish we could put. Uh, oh my god, 15% extra. Missile damage, armor piercing missile damage. Press Celestial Dragon Guard. 5% phys uh, physical resistance for Dragon Guard. That would be great if the whole like the whole point of this campaign wasn't fighting demons. That would be great. But it is, so that's stupid. Um Alright, Jade Bolts. Jade Bolts, we're gonna get some more yin, which means you need to buy you need to build another young building, which is fine. Uh, although, it only takes a couple turns. Well, yeah, a couple turns to get something like this. So, maybe I could just be off balance a bit and just swap between. We must you know? Remain superior. They're just... Half of the turns, I will be in harmony. That might be easier, just to admit defeat there. It'd probably be easier. It'd probably be easier than, like, faffing about with all the buildings. Um, but anyway, Windy. I could always convert something. I could always convert something, and then convert it back when I do another tech, and then build another building. That's the annoying thing, because you can't you can't just keep converting one building as you piggy back and forth, because you're always going to get, like, yeah, this is not quite going to line up, but I don't know. We'll figure something out, but we're going to figure something out next episode, because this is the end of this one. So, guys, if you enjoyed this, I'm just zooming in here because it's here. Although, quite lush. It's really nice, actually. I actually kind of like the slight sort of arid warmth and then the nice little grassy lush bits of green on the mountains this looks this looks like somewhere i would holiday <laughs> so anyway guys if you enjoyed this comment like subscribe i'll see you in the next one take care guys